Uh, right, all, all arrays have got um, a public field in them called uh, length. It's uh, final as well, so you can't change it. And um, here's what you can do. You can find out what the length of the uh, array is. Now here's an example of a three-dimensional array here with uh, um, lengths 1, 2 and 3 for each of the dimensions. And uh, if you do at.length you get the answer 1. And you get 1 because there's only one element in that array. It's an array of arrays and it's only got one element. And that's it. If you take a look at that element and do length then you'll get 2, which is that there. And um, if you do um, at zero zero dot length, you get 3 because it's referring to that. And uh, at zero one is the other element, and that's also of length three because those are both arrays. If you if you do at zero 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 dot length, of course that would be an error because um, t is not an array. Although of course um, t might be an array, <laughs> and uh, there's a devious way of making it an array. Um, supposing instead of t here you had object. Yeah, obviously you have object there as well then um, what you could do for instance is um, you could set AT000 to new T77 for example so you're setting that it's an object so you're setting it to an array uh, then of course um, you could do something like this AT000 uh, but then of course you've got a um, do a, a cast to cast it to an array type because it's an object. Don't forget that's perfectly legal, though. Uh, and then do dot length, and then of course you get 77, which is the length of that. Okay. Okay. So if we extend that a bit, here's uh, here we've got a similar sort of thing that T is object. We're doing that, and uh, how about this uh, torturous example? Let's take um, the zeroth element from there. So that would be just those two there, two and three, basically. And we set that into into the zeroth element. <laughs> I this was going to be torturous. Uh, then ask uh, what is the what is that thing? <laughs> Right, so the zero, 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 zero is going to give us, it's going to give us uh, that, right? And uh, that is a two-dimensional array, two and three. Uh, you look at element uh, number element zero there, and you'll get just that last term there. You ask the length of that, it's going to be three. Because I've got to do a few conversions here, but uh, that is uh, that's what you get there. Now, if we had um, uh, let's have a look. If we had uh, let's see what we got here. At equals new something like that with a zero in the middle. Then um, at dot length is still one, and at dot zero is now zero and the size of the third dimension down here is unobtainable. It's unobtainable of course because you can't have any way of getting at it to so ask it what its length is because you can't specify anything for that index there. Now of course um, length is something that's fixed because uh, it's final constant and uh, so it can't be changed. Here is one final example of length. Um, we've got an integer here, and we've initialized it like that. And so, what's the length of a t dot length? Well, it's got there's one element, there's two elements, there's three elements. So a t length is three, and what's a t offset one? What's that length? Well, there's a t offset naught. There's a t offset one. Is that 
that array there and it's got a single element in it so it's one and um, if we do this instead so that's a zero in there and we ask the same question well it's still got one two three elements in AT and AT offset one this time is a blank zero so you get zero